Hi, Nancy Burr Priest here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Here's my email and website. Um, here's all my contact information. Please try um, joining my Facebook business page. We have fun challenges. My YouTube channel, like, subscribe, watch to the end, and share with your crafty friends. Today, I am showing you, in the beginning, you know, the front looks pretty, but the wow is on the inside. Um, it is a pop-up vase card. So the vase flattens out, and when you open it, it pops up. Now, you can see I did something, and I'm showing this on camera because of the boo-boo, um, which I'm going to correct. Um, you can see I was really struggling to figure out the direction. So I always like to show you this is the boo-boo card so that you people are like, oh, your card's always so pretty. Well, you see the finished product. So... Um, I also am going to do, you notice that I put this too far over and it folds up. So I always make a card, learn a lot, and then I can share with you. So let me show you what you need. This, um, I'm going to be doing this card this Saturday. It's a fun fold card. It is very, um, tricky, um, but I'm going to be there to help all my people, which is very important. Um, so... I'm going to show you all the parts and pieces. It seems like a lot, and it is. Um, so the first thing is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. This is your regular card base. Does it fit in a regular envelope? It does, and I like that. You need two pieces of white for your inside, four by five and a quarter. Um, for the outside, I embossed this with the tin type embossing folder and we're going to put this on and some of this beautiful peacock ribbon um, I went ahead and pre-stamped that's the bad side um, and I have the two stamp sets I'm using are layering leaves thoughtful wishes bundle because I'm also using the dies um, and then we have some mechanism parts I'll show you how to cut this, but I have one ready to go so you don't have to watch me do all the cutting parts. Um, I have, this is the vase two and a quarter by four and I'm gonna, sh or by five, and I'm gonna show you how to cut it. We also need a mechanism, three eighths by three and seven eighths, and I'll show you how to use that. A stopper, a half inch by two. And then for the vase parts, we need some inside vase flowers which some of them are easy, some will be cut out for you, some you, um, if you come to my class, will be stamping and cutting out yourself. Um, and this is just a punch. So it looks like, whoa, baby, but a lot of this is gonna be prepped, so it's not as tricky as it seems. So let's start with the card front. Um, I'm going to, I already have it scored. Um, and I'm going to adhere the DSP on the front, which is two by five. I'm kind of using measurements from the Creative Treehouse. I did change them up a little bit, um, but I use that as kind of a video to look at. I, before I do anything else, I'm going to lay this out, and it's probably maybe four and a half inches. And I'm gonna put adhesive on the back. You notice I put it on both sides. So when I put this down, it will fit right over and there'll be adhesive on the back to hold it. And I can make sure I get it kind of even. And then sometimes I come back and put a little bit more adhesive on top of that just to make it all sure it stays. There we go. The last thing I'm going to do, and I'll have these already cut. Oh, let's see, maybe four inches, maybe three. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Um, of this beautiful peacock and gold. It is really pretty ribbon. Um, let me kind of cut and see how much is that. Oh, it's more like five. And I'm going to 
tie a bow. This is an easy way to get a nice looking bow um, and not waste a ton of your um, ribbon. So I'm gonna go, so those people that come to my class, you'll see a longer and a shorter part. Um, and I'll have two different parts and I'll say one's for the bow and one's for going around. So I'm gonna set that aside. Um, and we have the outside of our card. Oops. I went ahead and stamped this. Um, this is Lost Lagoon. It's a two inch punch on top of a two and a quarter inch circle punch. So those are pretty easy to use. Um, I will have the punched parts ready, but you know, if you're recreating this, it's a very easy front of the card. I think it's classic looking, but it's very pretty. I love this DSP. It is from the annual catalog, and I didn't look that up ahead of time. Let's see. It's from the beginning, and it's really pretty designer series paper. I'm a big designer series paper person. Here it is on page 47. And it is the Thoughtful Design Specialty Designer Series paper. It's gorgeous. Um, so that I'm using because it just adds a little bit of shimmer to it. Now we're going to put the two inside whites. I went ahead and stamped this. Last time I did not do that. I tried to stamp after and then I made a mistake and then it was a mess. So stamp, I always tell my people, stamp first and then adhere because if you have boo-boos like I proved um, then you can turn it over so it's always a good thing all right so now we've got the parts and pieces of our card why do I put a white there because it just seemed like it didn't pop up as much on the peacock so I put a pot um, a piece now here I got another piece that I can show you how we're going to cut it. So I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to get out my paper trimmer right here. All right, I'm going to move this to the side and move that over so you can hopefully see the top. I'm going to start by using the right hand side of my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer which I highly recommend. I've had other ones. My favorite are Stampin' Up! because I think they're really careful with all the numbers. They have a lot of features, especially going over on this um, right-hand side. Very helpful. So now I'm going to put this on the three-quarter. I'm moving the scoring blade, and I'm going to cut up right to that one-inch mark. Then I'm going to move it over here, line it up with the three quarters. See, that's the beauty of having it on both sides. Once again, three quarter inch mark. Turn it around. I do it on both ends, both sides, both ends. Right to the one inch, which is the score mark. Over here. There we go. And I can go ahead and put that down. I didn't, I already did this, but I didn't say this three eighths by three and seven eighths. I have scored it at three eighths, three eighths of an inch too. So that's kind of a tricky one. So how do we make this mechanism? If you have a directional paper, these two parts have to be on the right-hand side. So I just decided that's how I was going to do it and make it easy. So I folded those two down and cut that one off. And there we go. That matches up there. I'm going to fold the middle one down on the other side, cut these two off. And we've got our mechanism. Now, 
I went ahead and did it, but I'll show you. We're going to put tear and tape. We need a real strong adhesive on these two. Then we're going to flip it over and put tear and tape on that one. So we're going to start with a one and I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm going to go ahead and line this up on the other side of the you can see the score line. Now, I'm going to line this up with the white on the bottom. Oops, I didn't put any more tear and tape. And I always have to check because um, the tear and tape goes right here. It's just a tiny little piece. Because once you put tear and tape down, it's down. Um, make sure it doesn't go over the score line. And I'm going to kind of put it right there, lining it up. On this side, see the score line? On this side, it's lined up. And I'm gently going to close. And now it is in the correct position. Seems wrong, but it's right. Trust me. Trust me. It's weird. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over. And we're going to take off the other tear and tape. Now this is designer series paper, so you do have to be a little gentle with it. Um, you can't just um, rip things up. And even when you're scoring it, I try to be very gentle with my, um, my uh, DSP when I'm scoring, because you can really, some people are hard scorers and you can just really rip it. And you don't want to do that. Okay, oops, come on. Here we go. The beautiful thing if you come to my class is I'll already have the tear and tape on. You'll just have to take it off. So isn't that nice of me? Um, okay, so now we're going to gently hold these down and close the card. Now, if you notice, this is gonna move. You want it to move. And you're gonna gently keep going. Don't let it go down until the card actually closes. Let's make sure, oops, don't go down. Just kind of hold it. There we go. And guess what? I love that. It's so, it's just, I could do that all day. I love interactive cards. Um, it's goofy, but I like it. Um, so we've got our pop-up vase. Yes, this shows, that's why I have it in white. Um, could you put something over it? You probably could, um, but I didn't. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue. The ones in the back, um, I'm going to go ahead and adhere. You know, I don't put glue everywhere, but just a dab. Um, this one is helpful to have the liquid glue. I'm going to put this right in the middle. And I'm gonna make sure when I'm putting these other ones, I didn't do something. Well, it worked. I didn't do something. I forgot to put the stopper on. The stopper is basically supposed to go here, but it didn't need it. I wonder why it didn't need it. Huh, well, that's great, I already showed you. But if you were doing it, the stopper is supposed to go, well, let me show you. I knew I forgot something. So the stopper is supposed to go here. I didn't put it on. Um, so I wonder if you need the stopper. Well, as I'm looking at it, you probably do. I think it just give a little bit more. Let me put it on now. Don't you love when I do stuff like that on camera? Um, I'm a real, I'm a real stamper, um, you know make a mistake, try to fix it, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm gonna put a little tear and tape on each end. 
And when you're doing it, you really, after you already put, so you have it here, you have that long piece on, and you've done this attachment, that's when you're supposed to put the stopper on. But I didn't do that. Um, so I'm gonna try to butt it. I wonder if it'll work. It's kind of naturally stopping itself, but I'm gonna put it on just to give it a little bit more oomph. Kind of butt it right up. It won't show. Yeah, it does. It just it just stops it a little bit better. Do you need it? If you forget it like me, no, but it does help. Um, okay. Now I'm going to, you see, I, I stamp on the back too. People are like, oh no. I'm like, well, just stamp on the back. Y'all do it. Um, I'm going to put this here. Now you're like, well, how do you get these to kind of, um, she adhered the person I watched, which was the creative tree house. She adhered the stem part right there and held it on for a minute, which was really helpful. And she did the same thing with these. Put a little bit on the stem, and I'll clean up my mess here in a minute. That's the beautiful thing about the um, Glass Mat Studio, which you can order um, because it's really a great, I love it. I love the Glass Mat Studio. It's helpful. Oops, let's put it on the front. That's what I want. You, you're so used to putting glue on the back. I can keep adding things as I choose. I think I'll leave it at that for now. And here is my pop-up face card. Isn't that cute? And I know it looks like a lot. It is a lot of materials, but it's not hard. So I hope you give it a good try and have a great day.